So my name is Bob Nichols and I'm a professional paleo artist, which means it's my job to look at fossils and reconstruct the life appearance of extinct animals. Having an opportunity to create a series of coins commemorating Mary Anning is really special. She's such an important historical figure. She was essential to the development of a new science called paleontology. She wasn't just an expert at finding fossils, she was also an expert at the anatomy of these extinct animals. Scientists from around the world corresponded with her and visited her in Lyme Regis to learn from her life's work, her knowledge. Now, her name may not have appeared on many scientific papers from that time. She wasn't allowed to be a scientist because she was poor and she was a woman. Now, lots of people are making efforts to make sure she is given the recognition she deserves. And I think she is very worthy of her own coin series. So let me talk you through the Mary Anning coin designs. In each case, I haven't used the whole fossil. I've chosen the most characteristic, most important part, Temnodontosaurus, it was the skull, discovered by Mary Anning's brother Joseph, but then excavated by her later. The second coin, we have Plesiosaurus in the middle. Now, Mary was the first person to discover a nearly complete Plesiosaurus, but rather than using the whole fossil again, I've chosen something that is very specific to Plesiosaurus, this really wonderful paddle. And then finally, we have Dimorphodon, and below part of the fossil that I chose was the wing finger, which is unique to Pterosaurs. So there we are, those are the Mary Anning designs.